And so uh, right now I'd like to uh, invite the president of our, our men's club, Tomas Lopez, uh, to give a, a short testimony of what God has done and what God is doing in his own life. They just put on a, a retreat, beautiful retreat, uh, for the, the dads of our parish. And so, uh, Tomas, just invite you to, to share. Thank you, Father. Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Tomas Lopez. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm with the men's club. And um, <clears throat> we've been talking about becoming, uh, the Father's been talking about the mission of St. John Vianney becoming joyful disciples. And he asked some of the members to speak about it after Mass here. And uh, when he first told me that, I just had to think about it for a little bit. And uh, I asked my family, I talked to my wife and my children, and I said to them, well, do you, uh, do you think you're a joyful disciple? And of course, they thought it was a trick question and looking at me. But eventually they said, um, he said, no, no, just you know, give me your honest answer. And they said, yes, you know, I, I feel I'm a joyful disciple. And I said, why? Why do you feel that? They said, well, you know, I like serving God because of all the gifts he's given me. And also they said that to do it, it it's very natural. I, I like serving God. I feel it's something I like to do. It's not something I have to do. So we do it joyfully. And he said, okay. So, you know, I was thinking about those things they were saying and also my own thoughts on it. And it took me back to when I first started coming to St. John Vianney about 14 years ago and being in Mass with my wife. And then they would ask, you know, they would ask, like, the announcements, we need volunteers for the craft feed, or we need volunteers to do something after Mass. And I'd sit there, and my wife would give me the elbow aside, you know, and I would, uh, no, okay, no, no, not this, this is something else. I don't, I don't want to volunteer for that. It's just, I'm getting cold. So as time went on, you know, it, we, we typically kind of do that. We kind of think, well, that's not really what I want to do. If something else comes up, I'll do it. But we were lucky enough, <clears throat> excuse me, to be invited to be in a married couples group. So we started doing that. And then I got invited to the men's club and uh, started participating. And then my wife started doing teaching catechism. So we were kind of going <clears throat> down two different tracks. Excuse me. And we were saying, well, how can we bring the kids in? So our kids started serving uh, mass being altar servers and this kind of started growing naturally for us. I became a Eucharistic minister and recently my wife just became a uh, liturgical minister and she also brought me into teaching catechism so now I'm te also teaching catechism and these are things I planned. <clears throat> this kind of grew naturally um, because there's a saying you know <clears throat> excuse me men make plans but God laughs you know and it's true that this is nothing I would ever think that would happen in my life or I, this is what I plan to do. And God just does these things for us. These gifts are bestowed upon me. And we've had many blessings because of our involvement. So I'd like to challenge you know, everyone here to, when you hear that call, when there's that, uh, that the Father's asking for a volunteer, to take that step. Don't be scared. Take that step to volunteer and to do the works that also go along with your faith. Here you're practicing your faith. You're with God. But let's also do some works for the community, for our parish, and your life will be fulfilled and you'll be blessed. Because we must remember the words of St. John, James, excuse me, is that for just as a soul, just as a body without a soul, so also, so also um, faith without works is dead. Okay, so we just need to uh, sometimes let that little voice shut it down in our head and, and give in to uh, God's calling to volunteer. Thank you, and God bless you. Have a good day today.